How's it going everybody? JP here and welcome to day number three in my 31 days of horror. This is the second year that we're doing this and it's going pretty smooth so far. Three days in and I have not missed a day yet so uh, let's keep that rolling. Uh, the film that I'm going to be reviewing today is called Population 436 and um, this film is one that I've actually seen before. It has a tagline of the residents of Rockwell Falls are dying for you to visit. And uh, this came out in the year 2006. I've seen it before. I was flipping through the channels years ago and I ended up catching this one. And it was one of the rare occasions, at least now, um, that I've stopped on something and, and watched it and actually enjoyed it. Um, I used to do that a lot as a kid, you know, flip through the channels, find a cool horror movie, and I found a lot of great horror movies that way, and I just don't, I don't know if it's I don't watch enough TV now, or it's just different, but uh, it does not seem to happen much anymore, and kind of miss that. Um, but anyway, let's hop into this film a little bit. Um, the main character, I swore, was the guy from uh, Cabin Fever. Um, in my head, I thought it the whole time. I believe I even mentioned it in a DVD update, and it turns out that is not him. And weird thing, Fred Durst is in this film, which I actually didn't know. Uh, I didn't know at the time when I seen it. Um, but he's actually not bad. He plays the character of Bobby, who's this um, uh, sheriff uh, or police officer in this ta town. And uh, he actually is pretty good. He's likable. Um, so yeah, this film, we have a, a, uh, you know, Census Bureau, uh, you know, United States Census Bureau guy as he's going to this small town of Rockwell Falls, because for some weird reason, this town has had the same population for the last hundred years, and, uh, you know, some people at the Census Bureau found it pretty strange, so they sent him out there to investigate. Um... He ends up, uh, you know, getting a flat tire at the town uh, right as he goes into the town. Um, they tow away his car. Everybody is, you know, it's a very small town, obviously. 436 is the population. You have, uh, it's a very, like, old school style town where, you know, technology isn't, uh, you know, it's years behind what it is probably on the outside world and in the cities and stuff. You have, um almost like an Amish type of, you know, not that drastic, but it, you, you get that feel of like the, um, you know, the Amish type of thing. Um, they really are very welcoming, you know, they're not like, um, mean or anything. They're actually overly nice and, and it comes off, you know, weird that these people are so nice and, and welcoming. They even have the, I, I believe their slogan, town slogan thing was like, um, you know, treat outsiders as if they're, or treat visitors as if they're family, and then they become family. Um, so, very weird. Uh, he ends up, you know, doing some of his uh, interviews and stuff, talking to the people in the town, um, starts uncovering stuff, and you, you know, soon learn that this town isn't, is, you know, there's a reason that uh, the population is uh, at, stuck at 430. Um, it's almost like, it, I would put it in the category of, like, cult-type films, um, because it does have to do with religion, and, um, you know, it, th this town is pretty much one giant cult, and uh, I, I like those kind of movies a lot, and, um, you know, every time I see one, I just really, honestly, like the whole cult uh, angle in, in horror films. It seems to work well for me. Um, and this one is pretty good for a directed DVD film. It has uh, great moments, um, and the, all the acting is is pretty good. Um, and it's a, it's a well, it's a decent story. There, you do see the ending coming, kind of like at least I did. I kind of like felt like it, it was gonna go the way it did. Um, there's not a whole lot of like violence and um, like you know any kind of gore or anything like that or even really kill scenes or anything but uh it's it's more along the thriller line i guess but it, it is a cool uh movie there's one moment in the film where our main character uh says some kind of uh thing about how uh numbers rule the universe or something it's some quote and um later on in the film or the next day um some woman that he's never met says the quote and it comes off weird like like, because she heard it from somebody else. It's such a small town that they were, like, talking about him in the grocery store. And it kind of, like, uh, 
you know, makes it him uncomfortable, and, um, you know, that, that, that's a good scene, it shows, it really shows the kind of town that it is, and it shows how, um, everybody knows everybody, obviously, and, and just how, how, how strange and weird people are, um, but they're also very welcoming, and very, um, you know, comforting in the, in the same way, uh, you know, in a different way, they're, they're, they're weird and strange on one hand, but it's also kind of comforting. You get the sense uh, that the character feels, you know, very welcomed. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically the the, the plot. I, I, I like I said, I enjoy this one. It's you know, three dollar movie, and it's it's well worth three dollars. Um, it, it's pretty cool. I like these cult films. Um, like I said, and I would probably rate this film a six and a half out of ten uh, it's pretty solid um, not a whole lot of problems in this one and uh, I, I'd recommend checking out so I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number four